you can make a lot of teaching aids using a old flip-flop. You need a rubber slipper, a punch, a hammer, three pencils and a few beads. Now, hammer the punch as to make three holes in the flip-flop or the rubber slipper. They would be all in a line. Now take three pencils and stand them in these holes. This would look more like a pencil stand. This is like an abacus. Take one bead and put it in the units place. This is number two. The right hand pencil is the units. And when you put nine beads, you can't accommodate any more. So this represents nine now. For the tenth one, you'll have to remove all these beads. Now this one would represent 19 now. To see it more clearly, you can see now it represents six. There are only six beads to the right side. In the middle, there are five. This represents 50. This is 400, four beads in the hundreds pencil. This is 214 with just one bead in the tens place. This is 403. There are no beads in the tens pencil. Now just bend the pencil. All the three pencils will meet at a point. This is like a concave mirror. And if you just bend it the other way around, all the three pencils will diverge and you will see a convex mirror. This is very nice to illustrate what ray diagrams. If it's a plane mirror, a, a beam strikes and it's just reflected back. But if it's a concave surface, they just meet at a focus. If it's a convex surface, they all reflected, they diverge. Now with a simple rubber slipper, you can show practically how rays behave when the surface of the mirror is curved convex or concave.